everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central. We're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about FireEye and how it integrates with the Big IP. So in a previous Lightboard lesson, we talked about FireEye and how they inspect traffic and they make sure that any kind of malware or bad traffic is, uh, is blocked. And uh, so any kind of external user that comes into your web server, we want to block all that, all that bad stuff before it gets into your network. And so today, so that, that's kind of the ingress situation, if you will. Today we're gonna to talk about the egress. Let's talk about the people that are already in your network, like those corporate users that may be trying to get outside uh, to do their job or whatever it is. But sometimes those are bad actors or, or it, maybe even un, unknowingly, they've got some bad stuff that they're trying to send out and you wanna block that also. So the situation is this. Let's say you've got you know, the, big, the big bad internet out here. So I'll put I net for internet and you come on down and let's say you've got, you know, like an edge uh, router right here. Um, and then you come on down, you've got like a firewall and then maybe you've got like a, maybe like a switch right here. And then you've got your, uh, I'm going to put big IP and then what big IP. And then down here, you've got your, your corporate users. So I'll say corp users. Alrighty. So this is, you know, this is Fred over here, and then this is Johnny, and then this is Susie. Um, I'll put Susie with a little skirt there. Okay, so you got all these corporate users and they're doing their thing. You know, they're they're doing the business functions that we want them to do every day. Johnny is uh, checking his Facebook account or whatever he's got to do, you know. So, or maybe he's gonna send an email. Well, what we're going to do here is we, we want to put a FireEye device um, over here in line with the big IP. Actually, you can do it in line or, or out of band, so in band or out of band. So, but I'm going to just put FireEye right here. FireEye device is going to sit out here uh, either outside the big IP or in line with the big IP, depending on how you want to set things up. But uh, a couple of different use cases that I'll say is let's say that this guy right here wants to send an email out to you know, a coworker at a different company or maybe even within your own company, whatever it is. And so you've got SMTP configured in here and this email's got a, uh, an attachment on it. And let's say that that attachment has some malware in it, you know, and this guy's either a bad guy or maybe he's just doing that and he didn't realize it was bad. All right, so as he sends that email up, then it's gonna be, de it's gonna be encrypted. And so I'll put a little encryption right here, potentially. And this doesn't have to be encrypted, but it can be encrypted. And then I'm gonna turn and the big IP is gonna catch that and it's going to decrypt. So I'm gonna turn that to green. So it's gonna decrypt that, uh, that message and send it over here to the FireEye that's gonna inspect that decrypted traffic and then it's gonna send it back. And, uh, and if it's malicious, the FireEye is gonna block it and either the FireEye can block it itself. Um, it sends like a, say a reset, like a TCP reset or things like that. It could, but it could block it itself or it can actually inform um, the big IP AFM, that's the firewall um, manager, so it can actually inform that and the AFM could block it as well if you've got the AFM pr provision on the big IP. Um, and so if it's bad, it's gonna block that and it's not gonna let it go out. If it's good, then it'll, it won't block it and, it'll let it, and it will let it go out. And so, uh, so that's kind of one use case in terms of, say, an email, like an SMTP um, uh, feature. Um, another thing that you can do here uh, that's a cool thing with the big IP and the fire eyes. You could set up say different VLANs. So I'll put uh, I'll put like VLAN uh, Mac, let's say over here and I'll put VLAN Windows over here. Okay, and you can take your side. I don't know. You're a Windows guy or you're a Mac guy, whatever um, And say let's say you have a couple different VLANs configured here uh, on your corporate network and what the big IP can do is say for the VLAN on the, on the Mac side, it can route that traffic up to, let's say you have more than one FireEye, um, you know, set up here. Let's say you have, let's say you have for this purpose, two of them. And let's say you want all the, all the Mac users on this Mac VLAN to go to this one right here. So let's say this is the, this is the Mac, you know, destination FireEye. So the big IP has enough, uh, intelligence enough logic in it that it can send all the VLAN users from this VLAN over to this specific FireEye device and then that way you know that hey every single every single bit of traffic that comes to this FireEye is going to be from a Mac operating system a Mac computer and so you can configure that one as such 
uh, whereas this VLAN, of course, may come to this FireEye. And so there's a lot of intelligence that you can build in in terms of, uh, in terms of how you route the different traffic from your internal network as it's outbound. And so, uh, so again, the entire operation here, the entire intent here is to keep your internal corporate users safe and ultimately keep your internal network safe, uh, but knowing that sometimes these are bad guys, either knowingly or not. Another thing I was gonna mention is, um, is one thing that, that, uh, that you can do here on the big IP is what I'll call, and we mentioned this in our other video, um, I'll put right here URL filtering. And so what you can do is let's say, let's say uh, you know, this person right here works in the finance office or you know, maybe, maybe there's like a healthcare you know, office that you work in. And uh, for, that, for the specific URLs that this person would visit, let's say it's a protected like finance site or a healthcare site or that kind of thing, you can use URL filtering to catch that and bypass, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of go around the FireEye here and bypass the FireEye device completely based on some of the traffic filtering or the, the URL filtering or the traffic steering as it, as it were. And in that way, the FireEye um, only inspects the traffic that it needs to inspect. It only inspects what we'll call interesting traffic. So the, what we would call maybe uninteresting traffic, healthcare, financial, whatever it is, you can bypass all that. And that doesn't bog down the FireEye with all of the traffic. It only, it only routes the traffic that it really needs to inspect in the first place. It's a lot more efficient to do things like that. And so, uh, so anyway, so you can do that as well. Another thing that I'll mention here on the FireEye is uh, they have a mode called TAP mode, and this stands for Threat Analytics Platform. And so this is uh, TAP, and I'll just put FireEye again right here, TAP FireEye mode. Um, and so when the FireEye is deployed in TAP mode, this is more of a, of a passive, kind of an out-of-band situation, if you will. And what this, what this does is this, this is going to inspect all the traffic, but it's not necessarily gonna act on it. And so what you can do on the big IP is I'll put over here, I'll put a clone, I'll just put the word clone over here, but you can set up what's called a clone pool. And so as all traffic that comes into the big IP comes into the big IP, you can route it to a clone pool, or you can copy it, I should say, to a clone pool, which then routes the traffic from the clone pool over to this tap, uh, tap configured FireEye device. And so what this is gonna do is, again, if you, if you deploy FireEye devices in tap mode, the threat analytics uh, platform mode, then it's only gonna look at the traffic. And so think of this, again, instead of like a, um, like a prevention system, this is gonna be more of a detection system. So this is where it's like, hey, I just want to look at everything, but I'm not going to act on it. And so, uh, so you can set it up in, in, uh, in that mode as well, depending on what you want to do. You may want to actually act on it, or you may just want to passively look at it at that point. And so you can do a lot of different things with this. So again, the whole idea of this setup, uh, employing the FireEye in this way, is that you're protecting, ultimately you're protecting your network, but you're protecting it from the corporate, the internal users that are headed outbound out of your network to the big bad internet. And so again, if you remember last time we talked about FireEye, we were looking at clients that were coming into your network, into your website, into your web application, and we wanted to block any kind of malicious stuff that they might, bring in, that, that they might be bringing in. Whereas this one, we're looking at the internal guys and we wanna protect stuff as it goes out. So a couple of different ways you can employ the FireEye in your environment, you can do, and frankly, you can do both at the same time. It's not like you have to do one or the other. So do both of them, and then you're really, really protected. So, uh, so yeah, man, use the, use the big IP and the intelligence and the power of the big IP, you know, in, uh, in conjunction with the, with the FireEye devices that do an amazing job at monitoring the web traffic and blocking the bad stuff. And uh, man, you'll keep everybody safe. You'll have a great time and, uh, you know, your network will thank you for it. So thanks for watching this uh, edition of Lightboard Lessons and we'll see you guys out there in the community.